A student of English and post-colonial literature, she writes about art, literature, cinema, and the other facets of contemporary culture. While being an avid reader of non-fiction, she has a particular fondness for mythology and modern fiction. Ms. Dipanjana, uh, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ms. Dipanjana's writings have appeared in a variety of publications. Previously, she edited the art section of Time Out Mumbai and was the books editor at the newspaper DNA. At present, Ms. Dipanjana is a senior editor with the news website First Post. She's based in Mumbai. We invite Ms. Dipanjana Paul to share her views on the book. It makes very little sense to try and sum it up. This is one of those times for sure. Uh, but, but it's... Um, the fun thing about competent authority for me is really just how wicked it is. And, and it, it reminded me of something that my grandfather uh, believed in enormously, which was that failing an exam is a much better idea than just passing it. Because when you just pass it, you're competent. Competent meaning uh, that you have the ability the basic ability to do something without embarrassing yourself stupid. Uh, which is probably why monarchs and emperors have never called themselves their competence. They've called themselves your excellence, your magnificence, his highness, all of that. But no one said that they want to be competent. The competent authority is about a man who is very happy being competent because he doesn't want he doesn't want attention that isn't on his terms. It's, uh, it's a novel that's ostensibly set in a, like, like you said, a very unfamiliar future. But in that, in that future, there are certain fundamental tenets of present day society that are absolutely intact. The police are corrupt, the bureaucracy is useless, and women save the day within th those basics being maintained, there are certain things that are not familiar. So for example, there's iPhone 27 out. Um, there's been a war with China, which was a nuclear war. And at the end of that war, there is no Delhi, there is no Bombay, there's no Punjab, there is Haryana. Uh, there is uh, the, the state of Bengal has seceded from the Union. Darjeeling is owned by China. Everything that you eat or buy from a shop has a threat of radiation. So soap doesn't just give you glowing skin, the soap glows. And if the soap glows, how can your skin not glow afterwards? It's also a place of extraordinary cruelty. And one of the examples of that cruelty is this thing called the bank of bodies which for me has destroyed Bank of Baroda forever because they're both Bob. But anyway, the Bank of Bodies idea is very simple. If you don't, if for whatever reason, an accident or something, you've lost an arm or a finger or whatever, you go to the Bank of Bodies and you say that I am an X-year-old of X kind of complexion and I would like this re body part replaced, they will replace it. And how will they replace it? they will just go out there and get that body part from another human being. That other human being is obviously underprivileged, poor, in a slum, or something of that sort. There is a character, the hero, let's call him, for me he's the hero. Uh, there's a little boy, 11, Shumon, he's 11? 11 year old boy called Pintu. This, by the way, is a very Bengali thing. No one in their right, well, maybe not no one. There are honey sings, I suppose. But Pintu is not exactly the name of a hero, let's be fair, but Pintu is our hero. He's 11 years old. He works in a mobile repair shop. And as luck would have it, he is of wheatish complexion and 11, which means the Bank of Bodies needs his arm because Papu Verma, wheatish complexion and 11, has lost an arm. Pintu's forearm is cut off. There is no anesthesia. He's in tremendous pain. And because this is the world of fiction, something magical happens at that point. His arm doesn't grow back, but he does get superpowers. And with that superpower, 
he, he does what all of us have hoped we could do when we were children and wiser than we are when we're adults. He wants to save the country he's in. He wants to turn back time and fix things so that it's not as screwed up as it is now. So he does uh, what a lot of children do, which is that he goes to adults hoping that they know the answer. This is a very bad idea, but, well, you know, we don't know better when we're children. Um, so I'm going to find the bit where... So he goes to a bunch of people in the slum that he lives in. He's an orphan. Uh, but he lives in a slum that's... Uh, it's a family of choice. Everyone's very supportive. And he asks different people that, what was the point at which you think everything fell apart? Because the, what he's realized his power is, as he puts it, that he can push things. He can push things out of place and into another place. So, his final list of what needs to happen to make India a better place. Stop direct action day. Convert India's top five billionaires into missionaries from Ramakrishna Mission. Find Indira Gandhi true love. Stop nuclearization. Give vasectomies to select VIPs. Stop production of the Ramayan, that's the telly serial. Save Mahatma Gandhi. And as Pinto observes, that is a very long list. I may not have the time, we can't do all this. We have to choose. Repairing a mobile phone was easy, Pinto realized. Repairing a country, not as much. So Pintu, um, Pintu gets uh, unwilling volunteers. Uh, if you think it's bad enough to have to be here on a Sunday morning, figure out what these guys have to do and you might just feel better. So there's, um, there's a sniv okay, in Bengali we have a word called mean mine. I don't know what the English for it would be, but I hope the sound of it gives you some sense of it. It's a feet sniveling kind of person which is most Bengali men. So a mean mine Bengali dude called Hemantu Chatterjee, if you please, is uh, sent off to prevent Mahatma Gandhi being assassinated. The last surviving member of Al-Qaeda, a gentleman called Ali, who's wearing a t-shirt that has Bob Marley on it, is sent off to stop direct action day. And on the cover, uh, that is Ram Manohar Pandey, um, like the Delhi police, always with you to be in, as corrupt as is possible, Pandey is given the task of stopping the Pokhran blast. Having sent these three off to do their thing, Pintu partly learns his, the history of this country through what they are seeing, while in the present, the competent authority is messing things up more and more. The competent authority is a deranged well, it's a deranged man now, obviously. But he could be a bureaucrat, seems to be a bureaucrat. Uh, he occupies positions of power, and there is nothing characteristic of him but his sheer competence and his complete lunacy. So uh, I'm going to try and say, huh. He, he has... Uh, he has grandiose notions of himself. He's, he's managed to get to this position of power because everything else fell apart during the war. Now, what, what could have been this novel in itself, like when I'm telling you about it, these are pretty dark, gruesome deeds that are happening. And a lot of the stuff is often violent, uh, not necessarily what you'd call like a Karanja her moment in a book. But what Shobhan is able to do with this story is he makes it funny. So the humor both sharpens the bite of all that's wrong in this world, but it also soothes the sting. And you realize little by little that this, this surreal iPhone 27 era is perhaps not so far from our present. Maybe it's not that hard to imagine. As as the competent authority, sort of the novel, as well as the person, unravels and moves towards certain climaxes, what, what emerges is the power that is to be had from knowing how to see yourself and be able to laugh at yourself, which is an enormous, enormous gift and an incredible strength that at this point, we may not possess in this country very much. We're very, very quick to take offense. We're very, very quick to feel, um, to feel outraged, to feel victimized. 
uh, to feel wronged, to feel misunderstood. And no doubt on many occasions we are misunderstood. Uh, we, are, uh, we are justifiably outraged. But it's, you can't move ahead from outrage if you're going to be stuck in that position of rage. What, what you get with, what you get with com competent authority are details of really funny stuff. Like, for example, the word kalmadi has been introduced into the lexicon and everyone understands what it means. It doesn't mean just a corrupt politician. It's become a term for 100 crores. So people want a bribe of a kalmadi. Um, you have, uh, you have, so Ali shows up to stop direct action day. And everywhere he goes, there are people asking him, who's the dude on the t-shirt? He's wearing that Bob Marley t-shirt. And depending on who he's with, he gives the guy a different name. Like at one point, it's Al Maruli, Sufi mystic. And everyone's like, oh yeah, we sing his songs all the time. Someone did an essay on him the other day. You know, it's, it's really funny what he's doing to that one notion of Bob Marley, but he's also kind of obviously poking fun at how we pretend to know things that we don't necessarily know which is the defining feature of adulthood, by the way. Ultimately, um, I don't know if I should actually give away the end of the book, but, but that there are two things, that, uh, two things that emerge. One is that you can't, you can't change the past, no matter how hard you try or how far back you go. The past is done and the things that you've done in the past or that have been done in your name, that whether you like it or not, you've got to live with it. But there is the future. And if you know your past, if you can laugh about what went wrong and recognize what went wrong in the past, you have some chance for the future. Uh, the other thing that comes out is that the teachers are the coolest thing in the planet and they are the ones who are going to save the world, which I totally agree with. But what you... <laughs> What you get with Competent Authority is a novel about modern India, contemporary, present-day India. A novel that doesn't appease anybody, doesn't shy away from the darkness at any point, but it looks at that darkness without fear, with a lot of humor, and consequently, a lot of hope. And hopefully, that's what we're going to see in the dra dramatized uh, presentation, and then we'll make Shobhan entertain us because he's much funnier than I am. Thank you, Mr. Panchanapal. It was really interesting listening to you. For the theoretical performance of the book, we invite Chandigarh based group Theatre for Theatre. Our special note of thanks to TFT for sponsoring and giving many spectacular performances in this festival. We invite Mr. Sudesh and his group to come and enact the book, The Competent Authority. Talk like a dog. Excuse me? Get down on the floor and bark like a dog. Really? Yes. Woo woo! Make it realistic. Woo woo! Is it good? Yeah. That seems to be good. Now wag your tail. Woo woo woo! <laughs> that seems to be good. <laughs> Can you tell me, why is a CBI director barking like a dog? Well, uh, that's just a demonstration, which works on two levels. First, we get to know that how do our enemies behave. And second, we get to know that how to deal with them. What? I thought so. Ow, ow, ow. These are bloody traitors. They are even worse than dogs. Because dogs are more faithful than those Bengalis. They, they sold Darjeeling to China. And what did they do with that money? A total wastage. They invited Chinese governor and became a protectorate of... See what has been published in this newspaper. What, Have a look. This Shakahari Sena has done it all again. They had liberated a Chinese restaurant in the defense colony. They abused all the customers and ejected them from the premises, regardless of whether they had finished their chopsy or not. They even thrashed the cooks and lit a holy fire in the middle of the kitchen, forcing them to take the oath of vegetarianism. Bloody people. Wait, what is the CBI director doing on the ground? Uh, well, ma'am, <laughs> 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 
That's just a demonstration. How to catch the criminals. What? Uh, well, ma'am, you can just ignore them. Ma'am, I have got a proposal regarding alternate chair. A shining example of innovation in governance. We really have enough money to hire two people for a single seat. Why not reduce them? No, 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 no. Ma'am, we require a lot of people, especially for the Bureau of Reconstruction. Since we foresee a lot of reconstruction in near future, we can make cuts in foreign ministry or else, or, or else we can insult other countries, especially those Chinese. Am I allowed to do that? The PM is forced. What? I mean allowed to do whatever you wish. Why do you want me to insult the Chinese? Ma'am, who am I to want you to do anything? It's the nation that demands it from you. But why does the nation demand so? Ma'am, the Chinese have committed acts of telepathic aggression as a prelude to military action. Evidence will soon be in my hands. We just need to tell them that we are not afraid. And once they get to know that we are fearless, they will be afraid of attacking us. Do you have any specified insults? Yes, of course. I have a list of them. Ma'am, you can choose your favorite one. The first one is the best one. To unveil the statue of His Holiness, the Lai Lama, in front of India Gate. Ma'am, this will, this will show your love towards heart and culture and you will come across as a truly cultured person insulting Chinese at the same time. But the Lai Lama died years ago and Dharamshala is the first place to be blown up in the last war. And moreover, only 20% of the people in Tibet are Tibetans. So do they really care? Yes, of course they do. I don't think so. Do you have any other insult? Uh, well, ma'am. Uh, we can make a strongly worded acquisition of blaming that the Moist rebels in our country are inspired by the Chinese government. But it is true, right? Yes, of course it is true, but we are not supposed to say that. We have been pretending it from the past 60 years. Why don't we support the independence of Taiwan? No, they will have a nuclear attack. They just need...